Hi, my name is John Storms, and now that I got my FPP set up, I wanted to actually control some lights. So what I'm going to do is create a little sequence here in X lights. So first thing I'm going to do is add my E131 universe. So I've been using universe 50, and it's multicast because my um, E my SACN bridge only does multicast. So starting universe is 50, one universe, and I only have 48 channels three controllers 16 each. Now I come to layout, I say models, new model, I'm going to say AAA so I can find it easy, FVP, X lights, test. Okay, and let's see, single line, number strings, 48, because that's how many channels I have, and there are one per, and these are single color white. Data looks good. Okay. No big deal, I just got a lot of models. Okay, file, new sequence, animation, 50 milliseconds each, done. Right click on this, edit display timings, add the model I just created. Just like that. There we go. So what I want to do is something very simple because I can't do much with uh, a string of lights that only goes white. So I'm going to do black and white. This is effect settings. There we go. So I'm going to do left. See that? This is the model going across. So I'll update that. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. And then this one will go right. Update. <coughs> and now I'm going to say save as. But I want to save it as. Let's see, I'll call this one ah. FPP test two. <laughs> see that? Very nice. So now go to my convert tab. They convert that to Falcon Pi format. Start conversion. Okay, and now I have my my thing there. So now I got my sequence I could put on the X lights. Okay, so now if I hit play from X lights, this is what I get. See that? Now this is playing directly from x -Lights. What I want to do is I want to play it from the FPP. Now the thing is, when I play it from the FPP, it should do exactly this. Okay, so here we are. I'm on the uh, the web page for my Falcon Pi player. So now what I want to do is I want to set it up so I can play that sequence I just created on or from the Falcon Pi player. So the first thing I need to do is I need to come over here to Channel Outputs under Input Output Setup, and I need to add my DMX universe, which is already here. But let me delete it. Select it and delete it. Now let me save. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I'm doing one universe because it's just universe 50 for now. And universe 5, 0. It is multicast. And since I'm doing multicast, I don't specify a unicast address. Right, so I click on save, and so I've just added an E131 universe. <coughs> they got some other options here as well. Now, since I made this change, it makes me re restart the FPP daemon. So I click on restart, and it is restarted. Now I go to content setup, file manager, and what I'm going to do is upload a sequence. So I'm going to go look for that sequence that I just created. 
under sequences. Whoops, nope. X lights four sequences. And like for the one that I just made. This one? Yep, I think it was this one. FPP test 2. Okay. So, is uploaded. Now I go to status and control, and it shows me nothing is happening. I go to display testing. Now, here in display testing, what I can do is I can actually say I'm enabling test mode. And I can have, and I can actually test my lights from here. So I can just set my chase size, and it does its thing. You know, it goes and it runs a sequence. Not a sequence, but it's running a test. Here, let me show. You. See, so here, this is the output to the lights from FPP in test mode. See that? So you can actually test your lights from the uh, the FPP very handy feature. Okay, now while that's a handy feature, I actually want to run a sequence. So I come over here to the sequence tab under display testing, and it has the sequence that I just loaded up there. Now if you have multiple sequences, you pull them down from here. But if I go here, I can say play. Well actually, wait, I made a mistake. Let me stop that. Let me take it out of test mode. Now I go to sequence and I hit play. And when I do that, I get the sequence that I had just programmed. See that? So this is the sequence that I created in X-Lights and it is playing from the FPP, which is running on my Raspberry Pi. So Showing myself that I am unable to create a sequence in X Lights and play it on the FPP. Okay, so back to the Falcon Pi player. So now we've actually shown that we can uh, run a sequence. Let's show that we can actually run it as part of a regular show. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, I don't have anything here. So I'm going to create myself a new playlist. I'm going to call this FPP test. Okay save and I'm gonna say a new playlist entry it's a sequence only it is this one sequence that I've created and I click on add and I hit save okay so now I go to content setup go to my scheduler okay and I'm going to delete this one save add, oh I need a playlist. Come up here and just say new playlist, FPP test, oh okay, yeah, 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 all right, I just did this. Scheduler, add, and I see since this is the only playlist I have, that's why there, so you can say what dates are you going to set up, I'm going to say I'm going to play it all the time. So now it's saying run from 2014 all the way to 2099 every day all the time. So I hit save, okay, I go to my status page, and you see that FPP test is set to play, I'm just going to hit the play button right now, <coughs> and when I do that, guess what I get? See that? I get my little light show. So that's just a really quick introduction to setting up the FPP so that it will... Um, run sequences.